and Dante Taylor killed Terry and Stacy Moulton. Their bodies were found inside a home. 19-year-old Terry Powell is arrested this afternoon for shooting and killing 75-year-old Linda Palmer during a robbery. Mom? <laughs> Eleanor? Are we going somewhere? You have a right to know the truth, but not now. Not yet. Why? There's nothing I wouldn't do for Teresa. You're my father. You really want to know about me? She was murdered. 20-year-old Acarius Wright and his brother, 19-year-old Contarius Wright, have both been charged with capital murder in the shooting death of Paul's jewelry store owner, Jamie Iverson. 19-year-old Passion Latrice Watkins shot 36-year-old Melanie Powers in the head killing her. Powers was nine months pregnant at the time of her death. Roxanne Jeeves and her five-year-old son Christopher were brutally murdered. George Hicks was sentenced to life in prison. Veronica Billiot was killed. She and 47-year-old Noah Fishback were shot and killed by 27-year-old Joshua Williams. Stephen Broderick shot the three victims who later died at the scene. The victims are the suspect's ex-wife, Amanda Broderick, his daughter, Alyssa Broderick. 40-year-old Tony Johnson arraigned today for the murders of 47-year-old Tina Geiger and her 11-year-old daughter, Chrissy. Brown admits he pulled a gun, demanded money, and shot Joseph when he tried to drive off, then accidentally shot Jocelyn. The couple leaves behind five children. 18-year-old Kari Sanford was arrested and booked into the Dane County Jail in connection to the double homicide of Dr. Beth Potter and Robin Kari. Jack Doherty accused of shooting 54-year-old Cheryl Smith in her Pawtucket home. James Edward Holly, 47, expressed violent ideologies. 69-year-old Norma Jean Shoemaker Matko, a retired nurse, was shot to death in her family's farmhouse. Her daughter, 45-year-old Nicole Bronowski, a nurse at Akron Children's Hospital, went missing. Both women were taken to a local hospital where they later died from gunshot wounds. Randall Ellis charged with two counts of first-degree intentional homicide.